for me is I don't necessarily know everything that I do that might be negative out into mm -hmm. somebody. You know what I mean? So that's why, like, I, I wouldn't know if it's bad if I don't hug or if it's bad that I don't like birthdays mm -hmm. or it's bad that I don't like certain intimacy things. Like, I don't, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't know that. So that's kind of the question I have. So as you grow older and you're becoming a man, or a woman, whatever, how do you think you kind of decipher those things? Like, what is it that you think will be like, damn, this is what I kind of need to change or this is what I need to unlearn? I, I think a lot of that comes in the context of relationships, like, and not just uh, romantic ones, but especially those. Yeah. Uh, for example, I, I'm not big on birthdays either. I think it's just like a whatever thing. Yeah. Uh, but we were just celebrating my dad's birthday on Monday. Yeah. Right. He's not big on birthdays either. Yeah. But he gets mad when we're not. Like, mm -hmm. he gets mad that we made a, a party for him. Mm -hmm. But then he gets mad when we don't want a party for us. Oh, right. Gotcha. And I think that uh, a lot of times is like that. First of all, that's ironic and hypocritical, right? Yeah. Let's be honest. Uh, but it's also a reflection of you know. He's a giver in the sense of like he doesn't express it in words as much as he does in actions. Yeah. So he for when he celebrates other people's birthday, he wants to give them the best because yeah. he wants to say, "Hey, I think you deserve the best." Without saying, "I think you deserve the best," gotcha. right? So, um, is that it bad sense. that that's how he is? Maybe, but it, uh, we also know that you know different upbringings produce different results. Right. And so a lot of times it's contextual. Um, I think though it is important to understand that. Uh, progress always happens when somebody sits down and asks, is there a better way to do this? Right. Right? Like, uh, whether, whatever small or big thing we do, however we express ourselves, however we see life, we have to sit down and say, is there a better way to do this? Mm -hmm. Right? Because if there's not a better way, then there's no reason for progress. Right. But if, if there, there is... There'll be no reason for you to even yeah, try. Because yeah, because what's the point? It's not going to get better than this. Yeah. Right? But if there is a better way, if there is a better solution, mm -hmm. then I think we owe it to ourselves to ask, you know, yeah. what does that look like? And and I think in a sense of, of self-realization, I have to have an idea of who I want to be yeah. to say, how can I more effectively get there first? Mm. Because maybe yeah. I'll get there eventually, yeah, yeah. but I could get there faster yeah. if I really reflected on all those weak points that I'm like, Okay, this needs to change. That needs to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this I'm okay with, but I could do better in this area or that area. Whatever that case. Because if I don't sit down and ponder on those things, then I can't really say, you know, I need to change these things. Right. And I can't see myself becoming a better ex.